the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, I'm glad you're back. I hope those uh, things of checking your fruit hasn't gone too bad for you, right? I know you realize it's not as easy to do that, but you know what? That's that's the expectation that he has for us. And the thing is, it's him that does the work in us. So don't, don't get wrapped up, tied up, and tangled up because you haven't arrived and bearing your fruits. I think it's easier for, I, matter of fact, I think it's easier to work on bearing fruit than trying to work on how many, how well you can quote the scripture, how well you can do the, 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 the church dance, how well you can sit there and show up every Sunday and every time the door open. I know, I know that it's easier to work on bearing fruit than trying to be religious. Well, I'm just saying it's easier to work on bearing these fruits than trying to be something that may be pleasing in the sight of man, but not in the sight of God. God is not impressed with how well, or how long you can pray, read your Bible, and everything else. I'm not saying that's not what you're supposed to do, but I'm telling you something. If some of you are all caught up in being religious, and that's why you sit there and make it bad and act like you're sucking on a lemon, lemon because you say, I've been doing all these work and all this acting, and all these little checkbox and everything else, that I should, I know I'm a super saint. You know what? You've been super saint, but God is not impressed with you being super saint. He's impressed with how's your love, how's your joy, how's your peace. Come on now. I'm telling you. Anybody who comes to body Christ, you are supposed to please God. And it's not about pleasing man, but pleasing him. He wants you to bear the fruits of the spirit. He wants to see love in you. He wants to see your joy, his joy. He wants to see his peace in you. And I tell you, when life hits you, you're going to need peace from him. You're going to need love from him. You're going to need joy from him. You're going to need these characteristics. Because it doesn't matter how well you can act. It's, it matters how you be. That's why the characteristic, characteristics of the fruits of the spirit is important. This is, this is, matter of fact, this should be the basic teaching and education for Christians anyway. Bearing fruit, knowing is the Holy Spirit that cultivates those fruits in you, those characteristics in you. But you got to yield to him. Have you checked your fruits today? What are those fruits? Just in case you, you, you knew and you didn't see it before, let's go ahead and put it down here. Uh, show you what it is in Galatians 5. It says in verse 22, but the fruit of the Spirit is love. We're talking about the fruit of the Spirit. Not you, not the world, but the fruit of the Spirit, the Holy Spirit, is love, joy, peace, Long suffering, which is patience, gentleness, goodness, faith, which is faithfulness, meekness, temperance, which is self control. Against such, there is no law. That's what we want to sit there and work on because a lot of things that we get in trouble with because we lose self control. And just don't tell me this. Look, let me tell you something before you read it on patience. None of these things are easy. When you get down to self-control and temperance, there's so many things that can pull you out of control. You can sit there and you can be attracted to somebody that you don't have no business of being attracted to, and you can it tries to pull you out of control. Some people are attracted to money. Oh, and they, they do. The next thing they're caught in doing something they shouldn't have done because they lost control because they yield to the desires opposed to being in control. By the Holy Spirit. And if you do come get out of control, the blessing of God and the grace and mercy of God is for us to come back into control. That's what he's trying to do. I mean, so I'm telling you, any kind of victory, you miss it, just keep working on it. But the best thing is as long as you're working on it. That's what God looks at. The world, well, they don't, you know, sometimes the world's not finished with you. But God said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. And that's where that joy and that peace comes from. And matter of fact, that's what the one we're talking about right now is that peace that comes from God. That peace that surpasses all understanding. 
you know, the script that I use today for that is in uh, Proverbs 16, verse 1. The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. Come on, that's, that's what I'm trying to say. Don't sit there trying to please people. Your heart, your tongue, is coming from the preparation of the Lord. It's the Lord doing the work on us, not people. Religious people will be mad at you because they're going to sit there and say, no, I'm going to work on you. No, no, no. The Lord is the one working on me. Verse 2, all the ways of man are clean in his own eyes. And that's the other thing about it. When you get either religious people or you get the world, they think they're clean in their own eyes. But the Lord's way is the spirit, the spirit, the heart of man. That's why we're talking about the fruits of the spirit. Look what God looks at. He looks at the spirit. He said, verse 3, commit thy works unto the Lord and thy thoughts shall be established. We're going to commit to the Lord, not man. See, the Lord has made all things for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Though hands join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged, and by the fear of the Lord, man departs from evil. When a man ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemy be at peace with them. Better is a little with righteousness than great revenue without right. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directs his path. See, that's important for all ministry to make sure it's, 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 it's the Lord that's leading and guiding us. That's why we want to sit there and we're talking about bearing fruit. You can't bear these fruits successfully or consistently when you can't sustain them without the presence of the Holy Spirit. You come out. And so I'm just saying, when you, if you're not saved, just remember, check your fruit today too. And when you, when you, when you realize that you can't sustain maintaining love, or joy, if you can't, I recommend highly receive Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior. If you're a believer and you receive the Holy Spirit, what I'm saying is for you is to understand is God doing the work in you. And it's a daily walk. It's a daily walk. So, but one of the things is don't be prideful. Just be submit to God's will. Have you checked your fruit today? Have you checked your peace today? How do you get peace? You get it from him. That's where it comes from. A lot of cases when we look at people and expectations of people, we lose our peace because we're stressing out on what they think and what they're going to do. What God is sitting there saying is, why don't you focus on me and pleasing me? If we can get to the point of our mindset, understand that we please God, that's where we get our peace. He is not setting the bar that man sets. His bar is where you can reach it. Mm, I like that better. His bar is where you can reach it. Man will put bars that you can't reach. And he'll try to even put God and try to put God so far away that you can't reach him so you give up and try. But God is saying, no, I sent my son to, to be in this environment so we can relate to you and that we can, you can reach us because he came so that we can be children of God. Think about that. Have you checked your fruit today? I hope you have, and I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you watched the other one, but God bless you. Check your fruit daily. Amen? All right. I'll check you later. Bye-bye.